What's up guys, welcome to your 10th PHP tutorial. And now that we're done with loops, it's time to move on to something a little more interesting. And this, what I'm going to teach you today is called an array. Now what an array is, is something that allows you to store multiple values in a single variable. So last time if we wanted to write similar variables, we would type in the variable num equals some number then we would type in um, another variable num b equals another number and it got kind of confusing after a little bit so this time I'm going to show you how to put multiple values in the same variable which is very useful later on so let's make a variable called people and to, to make an array instead of just typing in one value after the word people you need to type the word array and then you need to make parameters to put in it or multiple values to put in it so inside once you have your array and your parameters you can start typing in people's names or anything you like so I'm going to type in Tom and notice the strings are enclosed in parentheses and you separate items in an array with a comma. So I type my comma and now I'm going to type Jake and now I'll type Tony. And of course outside of your parameter end it with a semicolon. Press enter to move on to the next line. Now what the computer does is it doesn't order items in an array like mean you would count. Instead of saying first item, second item, third item it starts with the number zero so Tom is zero Jake is one and Tony is two so another when you want to output this on a screen or reference it here's how you do that you type in people and then in your square brackets you type whatever number so this would be equal to Tony people and in your square brackets two since we have the variable people we have 0, 1, 2. So if we echoed this on a screen right now, it would print Tony. So as you saw that, that was a different way to write in a, an array. So of course, you can also write them like this if you like doing it better. For your, oh, sorry, for your first one, which is actually 0, we could set that equal to Tom. And of course, you end it just like that. And for your second variable value that's stored in people, which would be one, we set that one equal to Jake. And for the third variable stored in people, which would have the second placeholder in it, we would set that equal to Tony. So now, just to prove that this all works, let me echo this on the screen. So if you wanted to echo the people 2, which would be Tony, let me save that and show you that it says Tony. Now again, why does this do this? Because we have an array with a bunch of values in it. And the second value in that variable actually it's a third but it's a two has the value of Tony and of course up here is another way of course we have the variable people and we have an array which means in this variable we're gonna have all these values this is labeled 0 1 and 2 so as you see if you wrote 0 and saved it, it should come up with Tom which it does right here so that's how you, if you want to get a like variable and you want to keep a bunch of similar values in it, this is how you do this. And we're also going to be using this a lot later and it's going to come in handy for a bunch of stuff and to keep it a lot more organized. Thanks.